but I didn't know about it. Well, I didn't want to believe it. But then that man who I help now and then with the cement sex, he should say, where is so and so and so and so? Guest. What do you mean guest? Guest. Finished with. Too weak to work. Ah, well you're too weak to work in the guest chamber. And then I start believing it. But that doesn't didn't happen to my wife and child. I didn't want to believe it. It kept me alive. Somewhere my wife and child was working. I see her in the end and we can talk to one another. There was only two occasions that I gave up this life. Or I wanted to give up this life. I didn't want to believe that my wife and kid were gone. I kept on living and that I was kidding myself, fooling myself. I didn't want to believe the, the in and outs. I had fleas, I had lice, I had scurf. I was very hungry. I fought the hunger by shaving the beards of the prisoners. They had to be shaved every Saturday. So that, that's what the Nazi said, every prisoner's got to be shaved when they march out to work on Monday with a clean face. And who had to do the shaving? Not the village barber. We had, to, amongst the prisoners, were ex-barbers like myself. And you shaved all day long. One was lathering, one or two others were shaving. You got the shaver from the chief barber capo in the barrack. You had to hand it back. Oh, it's another story in that. Anyhow, and for that you received payment, not money. I never saw money in the camps. You got a half a litre, if there was any left, half a litre soup on a Sunday. And if there wasn't any, you didn't get any, dare not to talk about it. If they want, they'll beat you up to ask you what you're thinking or what did you say. You just took anything that came your way. Your former life did no more exist. You had a different life now, a terrible life.